adrenaline. It's the adrenaline. It's the Heat adrenaline. 1A Seriously. of the 2012 exactly Lamb Weston Columbia right Cup. Coming across the start finish line, it's the one spirit of Qatar 96 with Dave Billwalk. Top end of the course, Mark Evans of the 57 Formula Boats.com. Mark and Brother Mitch bought that boat from Ted Porter, and they're running it hard around the top end of the course. Dave's the one to watch down there in turn two. He likes to run that boat awful loose. That one's going to get loose. That could be the one. And Ryan, Ryan Mallow across the start finish line in the 99 Leland Unlimited 2. That's that banana boat. Bright yellow in color. And heads right over to Tony. You got some action. Farmers Exchange turn two. Yeah, there they go. The number one spirit of guitar, Dave Hill Walk. And again, making it nice and easy. He just seems to know this course inside out. And he knows where all the nice lanes are. So he stayed right in the middle there. And over on the outside coming at us is the 99 Leland Unlimited, Ryan Mallow. He's looking like the outside is his best spot. And there is some nice, smooth water on the outside, so a good spot to be. Well, at least for now. At least for now. And the 57, there's the Formula Boats and Tire Factory. Local sponsorship on that boat. Good to have Tire Factory on, of course, a great sponsor of ours here at Talk Sports as well. So, And guys, remember, with Ryan Mello in the 99, he is not entirely qualified as an unlimited driver yet. And unless they've made a change with the referees today, and we didn't hear anything about it at the driver's meeting, so if things stand from yesterday for the first two heats, Mallow will have to start back into the outside. Well, we got a problem now with the degree men, and Scott Liddycoat is dead in the water at the top end of the course, inside the course, way outside, and that could be problematic as we get ready for the start of Heat 1A. Brought to you by Cascade Natural Gas. Across the Northern Quest Resort and Casino Start Finish Line, bright red and beautiful. That's the FarmingBoats.com with Mark Evans. Dave Vilwalk is camping out in lane number one. And the slowest you can possibly go in the one spirit of Qatar 96. Is, it, is the 88 just, is it trolling already? No, the 88's dead in the water. Okay. Top, top end right. of the course. All right, come to a enough. complete stop, but the current is going to be the issue. It is currently inside the course markers, so that, again, could be problematic. Now, look at Ryan Mallow going so slow, the water's coming right up over his canopy lid. And I think that's what happened in turn number four down there with the idiot. But I think he slowed down so much he lost some power in the water. Mark Evans water. now has cut across the infield to come back to the front stretch. And what kind of a countdown do we have? We should be at about a minute and a half. Minute 25, 24. Right. This is a real tough break for Scott Litico because this, oh, this is going to put him behind the eight ball. Tough break. Really surprised to see Dave Billwalk come down here and be on the inside. I think he's got enough boat speed to cover everybody here. I'm kind of surprised we don't see him far to the outside. Got 10 seconds now. They can't go across that buoy in front of Tony before the one minute gun. Watch, watch, right watch the 57, Bo. Three, watch the 57. Two, 57 one. hard charging right, on the outside. Going. Everybody's clean at Farmers Exchange turn two Good at start. that big yellow buoy. Yep. Guys hearing from the crew of the 88 degree men, something to do with the drive train. There's no way they're going to get it up and running. Well, I'm just concerned about the flow of the current of the river that's going to push it back into the course. Now he's, he's currently in the course, but in the potential traffic coming up. Dave From our view down here, he's way on the outside. I think I think he'll be okay, and everybody does know he's there. Yes. We hope. 30 yes. seconds. And it's going to be Dave Billwalk in lane number one. Mark Evans is going to try to sneak up in between the two boats, I think, inside yep. of Ryan Mallow and take lane number two. Billwalk's going to lead the charge around the top end of the course, and our countdown is on in about 10 seconds, right, Jeff? We're at 15. Countdown underway. Dave Billwalk puts the hammer down. He's going to push everybody eight, a little bit farther seven, outside. Six, He's in lane number five, three. Mark four, Evans in lane three, number four. Outside two, Ryan Mallow in lane one, number six. Mark. And it's a clean start for Dave Billwalk in the ninety in the one Spirit of Guitar ninety six coming down the front stretch. Mark Evans in second place. Ryan Mallow in third. Not a lot of drama right now. Dave Billwalk with a rooster tail and a half, and he's already to the entrance. Man, way out in front, coming to Tony, and he is, and he's bouncing a little bit to the right side, but he's carving the corner up, and as he makes his way to the exit pin, a very comfortable lead for the number one Spirit of Qatar, followed up 
by the 57 boat formula and tire factory and it's ryan mallow in third place in the back of the 99 leland unlimited two out of tacoma washington dayville walk out of auburn heading up the front stretch and he already has a three rooster tail lead over mark evans in the formula boats tire factory entry dave bill walk a little bit of a bounce coming into turn number three comes around into turn number four in our four corner super speedway swings it out into lane number three again he likes to take that turn a little bit wide forcing all competitors to go a little bit wider to the outside that way, he ensures that they can't catch up. He'll walk across the Northern Quest Resort Casino start finish line, 147.616. Mark Evans in the Formula Most Tire Factory, 135.401 miles per hour. And Ryan Mallow coming across the start finish line will catch his speed coming up as they head into turn number two from Farmers Exchange. Mallow on the clock and a 113.117. Nice and smooth for Bill Walk as he takes one through on lane number three and then lane four. Here comes Mark Evans and the 57 boat. And he's about 10 boat legs, maybe about 15 now, behind David Vilwalk. And then coming up around corner number one and making it to the apex of the turn, here comes Ryan Mallow in the 99 Leland Unlimited 2. And he makes his way through lane number one. And Ryan Mallow losing a lot of speed down yes, there in rough water, way to the outside in the 99 Leland Unlimited 2 at the Farmers Exchange, turn number two. Dave Vilwalk, top end of the course at the exit pin, turn number four. Down the front stretch to the Northern Quest Resort and Casino start finish line and a lap speed, 144.613. Losing Evans. Oh, yep, Evans going off plane at the exit pin to turn number four. So Ryan Mallow is going to come away with some huge points in this. Boy, it is. After Liddycote went dead in the milling period, and now Mark Evans is dead in the water, and Mallow's going to go to the inside and take lane number one at the exit pin and turn number four and come down that front stretch. He's going to get a second-place finish if he can keep it up and running. Dave Billwalk, meanwhile, a backstretch and a perfect ride in the one Spirit of Qatar 96. That is just an unbelievable start for Dave Vilwalk, the defending champion of the Lamb Weston Columbia Cup, and uh, just kind of a cakewalk in this one after losing uh, Liddy Code and, and really not threatened from the start. He had that start timed out perfectly with boat speed in lane number one. And Vilwalk at the exit pin at turn number four comes around. 99 made it through very safely through the uh, turn two here, and he's making his way down the back stretch. Nice corner over here at Farmers Exchange number two. He really did a nice job. And the checkered flag is out, and Dave Vilwalk will take it, and his final lap of 131.688 miles per hour. So Dave Vilwalk, the winner of Heat 1A from Cascade Natural Gas. Second place, Ryan Mallow at the top end of the course into turn number three. And he will take uh, some big points out of this one with the attrition rate rather high, losing the degree men with Scott Liddycote, the 88, and the 57 from Boats.com Tire Factory with Mark Evans. Their uh, cockpits are now open as they wait for their tow lines. And coming across Ryan Mallow in the 99 Leland Unlimited 2. And the start-finish line at a 122.077 miles per hour in that final lap for Ryan Mallow. It's a steady ride. That Leland boat is a steady boat, and now he's got some points. Well, guys, a uh, bit of a tech update for you. The 88, we're hearing it's something with the drive shaft that shut it down, but oh. as far as the 57, they are not sure what happened. He lost power and just went dead in the water. They'll have to inspect it when he gets back.